She lived in a castle. She lived in a castle. And At a school in Bolton, the Prime Minister was reading with Lucy. Visits like this are a daily staple of the election campaign and crafted mainly for the benefit of the cameras. They don't always turn out as expected. But it wasn't always like this. I'm sorry that I am uh, late. When Winston Churchill was campaigning before the general election in 1945, there were cameras following him around. Yes, they recorded the event, but it wasn't staged for them. And then, a generation ago, everything changed. Politicians realised they might not be seen as cute, so they'd be photographed with things that are. This image from 1979 changed the rules. Political photo opportunities would never be the same again. Ever since, politicians on the campaign trail have liked to look animals in the eye, or even talk to them. And, of course, when cute is what you're after and a sense that you stand for the future, what could be better than a baby? And the twist on the political photo opportunity at this election is the selfie. Come on, Star. It's a big moment here. Oh, your friend's noisy, isn't he? Sir, do you mind yes. if I have a selfie with you? No, that's fine, absolutely not. But whilst these kind of snaps may seem harmless, they do illustrate a bigger challenge for politicians. Given many of us now carry phones around in our pockets that can take pictures and record video, are politicians losing control of their cherished photo opportunity? Because you never know what might be happening behind you. Oh! Chris Mason, BBC News.